Hi guys, welcome to Hogmeet's uh, YouTube channel. Today we are going to introduce you our new products which we name it as a uh, miniature carry case. Um, you can actually use this as a paint uh, carry case as well if you want to. So uh, let me show you what is the contents inside. Yeah, um, The case comes with the empty ones uh, because uh, we want to give our customer a visibility. Um, you can actually opt to have the 32 mm um, uh, hole, which is consists of 40 hole. This uh, is suitable for those uh, base that is uh, 32 mm. Yep. And of course, uh, this one you can add as a, a paint keeper for the 35 mm. Uh, even the LCAT, so you can use it for LCAT. You can use it for Vallejo. And uh, MO meat, no problem. Even the uh, liquid coal, you can actually keep it. Uh, this one later, so uh, we will explain more on it. And this is one of the alternatives uh, you can opt upon purchase. Or if let's say um, we are doing any redemptions, which we are having a promotion, yeah, for the redemptions for members for October, yeah, just in case you want to do a redemptions, just inform us um, what are the uh, hole you want. You want a uh, 32 mm or the standard uh, 70 mm bottles, which is uh, this one. This is another option uh, you can opt for. This one is uh, 60. You can actually put in 60 bottles of uh, Baleo paints or MO mix or scale 75 or any paints that has the diameters of uh, 26 to 27 mm uh, diameters and not higher than 80 mm height. You can actually use it for keep sales of your paints. Yeah, let me proceed with the um, miniature. Uh, we designed this is basically for miniature uh, transporter. Yeah, this is the thirty two mm as a thirty two mm base. Uh, as you can see, it actually fix it nicely inside. Yeah, I can show you here. You can actually fix it nicely inside. 32 mm yeah okay let me show you the others ones which I actually um, uh, do for my miniature okay this is the one so uh, which I'm going to show you okay as far as you know that uh, major although their base is uh, 32 mm but uh, the disadvantage is uh, you can't fix all the two mm into one case, yeah. Because uh, due to the fact that uh, uh, all miniatures uh, using the two mm have a uh, different uh, height as well as uh, the weapons. If the weapons is overshoot uh, within the thirty two mm uh, diameters, and for 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 this case, you can see that uh, the weapons is actually overshoot by. Uh, uh, if you measure the diameters, it's probably about 40 or 45, yeah? And, and you can see for this as well, uh, this is overshoot uh, at the front side. So, um, actually you need not have to worry about this one. Basically, what you need to do is uh, to do a simple modification uh, by using a marker and of course uh, a pen knife. To, to do some simple modifications. So for, for example, of this one, right? Because uh, this one, you can't actually fix it here. Um, I can show you over here, just uh, for clear pictures. Okay, you can see, if I'm going to fix this uh, into here, it actually oversaw. You can't probably keep it. Yeah, so, um, uh, to solve this problem is very it's, it's pretty easy. If all your model case is this one, you might need to give up certain hole to accommodate uh, such a, a, a figure. If you are talking about this type of uh, space marines, which is uh, not much an issue, which means that they actually exceed a little bit. You can see from this hole a little bit. Then you can actually do a full 40 space marines. Yeah, um, let me show you how to do a modification uh, uh, with this punch by simply using a, a coupler and the, a pen knife and the marker. Okay. Uh, let me show you this one first. As you can see from here, uh, you just need to 
push down your your miniature over here and you just need to do a markup so a simple markup okay this markup is to to let this thing to slot into this hole so that's uh uh your matures uh, will not damage during the transport um uh, patients yeah so so here you actually see the i already do a two marking so to do a simple modifications is pretty simple you just need to cut As a, a similar hole you just cut off no now and just insert it in so so you can see that uh, your miniature is uh, is fully covered over here you can see from here it's fully covered if let's say yours is a space marine then then there's no issue um, instead of uh, within one of the hole you actually can do the space marine because uh, the weapons is only uh, up slightly what you can do is you you can actually utilize uh, the the space in between here or here or any directions so so for this one um, if you want to keep uh, 40 of space marine with this type of uh, um, uh, miniature there's no issue at all uh, basically what you need to do is uh, you just uh, mark something here just do a two marking and cut a small hole here so once you finish that you just push in you can see your space marine actually fully um, covered yeah and most important thing is uh, this one once uh, uh, when you do a transportation right accidents do happen uh, because sometimes you might drop your case if let's say you are using uh, those uh, magnetic base when you drop it Chances that this tussle might happen. Whereas for this one, um, it is very secure due to the fact that uh, we actually designed this hole slightly smaller than uh, this uh, 32 mm. Yeah. So that's uh, at any point of times they are they are pretty tight. Uh, not much of a movements. Yeah. So um, for 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 you to do a transporter is um, you can actually do an optional upon uh, purchase of this one or upon uh, do a redemption uh, to get an extra sponge for three dollars. So what you need to do is uh, just place it an uh, extra punch over here, and you just cover it because uh, the hole is uh, symmetry. So when you cover, everything is uh, is perfect. Yeah. can see from here I just cover up okay. because uh, I presume that sometimes uh, when you carry it accident does happen if I say you drop it yeah and if you drop it so uh, if you don't have a sponge to to protect it right like, uh, all your figuring might get easily destroyed if you do not uh, super glue it uh, tightly uh, even if you glue it uh, tightly, there is a possibility that your your those uh, fine details part might get broken. Yeah, for this ones, um, um, it will not happen. Basically, uh, your major is uh, is fully secure. You can see from here. That's how I throw a few times, and all your major stay in space. Yeah. Um. Uh, another thing is, if let's say. Your major like is these are uh, simple ones or it's a fat one that is uh at the odd shape of four uh for forty two mm or forty mm, um without any much uh overlay you can actually just simply just push it in. Uh, to secure it. If not, uh, uh you can always use a pen knife uh, uh to do some modifications at your end. Yeah. So as far as you can see that uh this major is uh secure. Although just now I. Uh -huh. I I use quite a lot of strength uh to simulate uh the products being dropped onto the floor and your miniature is still intact without any uh uh breakage yeah so beside this right uh, you can actually use this as a uh, uh paint uh, carrier 
which is uh, this one. Let me show you this as well. And for this one, so uh, we actually use for Cigitel. And not only Cigitel, so this one just enough to just nice to fit it for all the pins. Uh, even so, if you are using the alcaps, yeah, you can actually put it in without any issue. For model color, as long as the diameter is uh, is uh, not more than thirty four or thirty five, you can actually fix it without any issue. You can see. Even for the liquid gold from Vallejo, oh. even these uh, standard empty bottles, which is uh, I think it's uh, thirty five ml, also no issue. You can actually fix it in. Yeah. Even so, uh, you can fix it a wash. Yeah. And for other paints, uh, just to ensure that the height is not more than uh, eighty mm, uh, and the diameter does not more than uh, thirty four. Or 35 is to be able to fix into this box and see yeah this is uh you can see those uh those uh, pins they actually well fixed into this box itself and it's quite secure as well yeah and this is a uh, is a uh, pretty good and uh, economy, yeah. So beside this, uh, uh, Citadel and Mo Mix or Vallejo or E Sevens or L Cap pins, uh, you can insert into this uh, box itself. Um, we also have another versions which is uh, uh, seventeen ml bottles, which is uh, suitable for for the. For the um, Vallejo 70 ml paints, yeah, which you can see from here, as long as it's the standard, uh, this type of uh, dropper, there's no issue. Be it uh, scale 75, be it ammo mix, uh, be it uh, work green stuff uh, bottles, you can actually fix into it. But most important thing is uh, you can actually fix 60 bottles uh, with this, this case itself. So, so when you purchase, uh, first thing important, you have to advise me. Uh, what are the sponge you are looking at? So you want a, for something ml or for standards uh, thirty two ml bottles, or you want to use it as a mutual transport case? Yeah. So we will give you the sponge currently. Yeah. But uh, moving forward, that so we even come up with a platform for this one. Um, I uh, um, the platform is uh, it's not here yet because uh, uh, the sample so uh, will be arrived uh, somewhere on the third week of October and the stock will be really stock when it comes because uh, I don't think I want to do a video on the sample of the platform because the platform is a platform <laughs> yeah so uh, I actually go straight to the productions yeah. So around 20, 21st to 25th October, uh, the platform will be arrived and of course uh, that is for sales. If you are interested in these ones, it's really stock. Yeah. Um, however, so I think I left with about less than 100 case at this point of time. Because after yesterday, one of the live, uh, we actually saw up quite a fair bit uh, through wholesales, uh, through overseas, uh, to USA, Australia, as well as uh, Philippines. Yep. So for those who are interested in this in Philippines, uh, do look out for Don's. Uh, Don's actually is our exclusive distributor in Philippines. And we do not uh, supply to anybody in Philippines except uh, through Don's DC. Yep. So do not ask me for a uh, distributor or uh, reseller scheme for Philippines. If you need to resell this product, do look up for Don's. Uh, Don's will handle from there. Yeah. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, hopefully in the near future, so we'll come up with more um, reviews on tools and products as well. So see you guys again. Bye.